You search library databases in order to find articles. Databases contain articles from newspapers, magazines, and journals. For your research, you'll probably be most interested in finding the journal articles, specifically the peer-reviewed journal articles, which are the highest level of academic research. On this page, you're going to find links to some of the suggested databases for your topic, but if you want to look at a complete listing of all the library's databases, you can click on this link here. I'm going to show you two of our databases, the two largest ones, Academic Search Premier and Academic OneFile. I'm going to start out in Academic Search Premier. I'm going to use a combination of some of the search tips that I showed in the books and the ebooks videos on the other tabs of this guide. So what I've done is I've combined three different search terms, psychology, play, and then I'll explain that first one, nostalgia or nostalgic. The asterisk at the end, right after the I, means that it's going to search for any variations of that word that start with the root that I've typed in. So it will get me both nostalgic and nostalgia when I do this search. From your results page, the two things you'll probably want to do are limit yourself to just the peer-reviewed articles, and also limit yourself to a more recent publication date range. So you might want to slide this wheel up to something like, say, 2018. Now, as we look through this results list, there's a few articles that look good. Number two is not bad. Number three looks really good. Nostalgia is a source of happiness in aging population. I can go in and I can immediately read the article by clicking on the PDF full text link or I can also find similar articles by looking through the subject terms and seeing what subject terms are associated with this article and then clicking on any one of these links to get related articles. So if I wanted other articles about positive psychology, I could click on this link and it would bring up other articles assigned that subject heading. Clicking on the PDF link, you can see I've now gotten myself to the article. And if I wanted to find the citation, this yellow box on the right-hand side will provide me with the citation. And this link here will provide me with the permalink to share with group members. Going back to our original search, I did want to point out one thing to you. Academic Search Premier is made by a company called EBSCO. They make a lot of the library's resources. Right now we're searching just that one database because that's the one that we chose. If you wanted to search all of EBSCO's resources that the library offers in one search, you can do that. There's a link above the search box that says Choose Databases, and you get this enormous list of different databases. You can search all of them at one time by selecting All, hitting OK, and while my search is still there, I can go ahead and click the search button, and now instead of searching one EBSCO database, I'm searching dozens and dozens of them at one time. So now again, I could click Peer Reviewed, and I could limit myself to more recent articles. While my results list didn't go up a ton, I actually only have one more article when I did it this way, but it doesn't mean that it might not find something that's useful to you. Here's one, the last one, which is the new one to the list, Importance of Leisure Nostalgia on Life Satisfaction and Leisure Participation. That might be a good one to take a look at with regards to the topic that you all are researching. The one other search tip that I wanted to give you within any EBSCO resource is smart text searching. I don't show this very often, and sometimes it leads to successful results, sometimes it doesn't. But I wanted you to at least be aware of it. Right below the search box, right here, Boolean searching is checked. That's where you put the and between search terms. If you want to search in a manner that's more similar to Google, where you can type in any words you want in any way, be it a question, a statement, a sentence, choose smart text searching. 
I will warn you that sometimes the results that you receive are a little bit off topic. That's why I don't always recommend this, but I wanted you to know that it is available. So I've typed in, can nostalgic gameplay help cognitive function in older adults? And I've got 15,000 results. Now, I can virtually guarantee that all 15,000 are not going to be relevant. Uh, that's just the nature of conducting a smart tech search, that some will be, some won't be. Uh, but don't forget, you'll probably want to limit yourself to the peer-reviewed items and the items published in more recent years. As you will note, smart text searching does also run a little bit slower than the other methods of searching. And now, again, it's just a matter of going through the list and finding one or ones that look good to you for your topic. many to choose from. The other database that I'm going to show you is Academic OneFile. Again, this is one of our two largest databases. This one is made by a different company, so it doesn't look like the last database that's made by EBSCO. I'm going to go in here and just do a search very similar to ones that we've been doing all along. I just chose three search terms, put and between them. With regards to your research, you can use as many or as few search terms as you want. You can do two, three, four, five, however many, but again, always combine them together by putting the word and between them. With this particular database, your peer-reviewed button is over on the right-hand side, and then your publication link here is going to allow you to limit by the date of publication. One tip that I'll give you in this database, they don't have that slide wheel like the EBSCO database does. So what I tell people to do is put in next year for the end date. What that means, it's going to just automatically grab everything that's published throughout 2023. And now here you can see is our results list. And when you find one, again, that's of interest to you, you can click on it. Here's the site button. Here's the get link button for getting the permalink. So all the same features that you saw in the previous database. A few other things that are on this guide, on this tab, there are a lot of sample peer-reviewed journal articles related to the topic that you all have chosen. All of these will take you directly to the article. Over here on the left-hand side, you've got a link to Journal Search. It's available through the library's website. I'll show you where. Journal Search is used not for conducting research on a topic, but for finding if the library has a subscription to a specific journal. You go to the library's website, you click the Databases tab, then you select Journal Search. Do not come in here and type in subjects that you're looking for information on. Instead, just type in the name of a journal that you're looking for. I'll just randomly choose one that comes up from the suggestions there. It will then tell you if we have access to that publication. It'll tell you where and what the publication date range is that we have access to. One specific journal that you might want to browse through is the American Journal of Play. We subscribe to that through one of the library's databases, and we have access from 2008 to the present. And finally, as a reminder, our students have access to Coastal Carolina University's library, you won't be able to access their resources from off-campus because they would be password protected specifically for their students, 
but if you were to visit their library, you would have access to some of their resources online.